What is going on YouTube? Hayden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. Specifically in today's video, though, we do have to talk about the very interesting movements that's taking place on pretty much all of the major cryptocurrencies. Yesterday, we made a video basically talking about the fact that the SVB bank has freaking collapsed, which is insane. You can see right here, Closure, which is a huge bank where a lot of Silicon Valley uh, startups have their money invested and it's been completely shut down and almost all of the people that have invested in it are above the FDIC uh, insurance which is up to $250,000 so lots of them have lost a lot of money which means a lot of those companies could go out of business or lay off a lot of people but it's also huge uh, in the tech industry too because that's most of the companies that have been invested in that regardless very interesting it's had some very weird uh, you know movements on the markets here we're seeing a lot of weird reactions from that yesterday we saw prices trend below here a couple of days ago i believe this was the 11th so two days ago we closed officially below our price floor right here which gave us the green light to buy in and short to the downside here and then we saw an immediate reversal closed back of the upside getting stopped out so on and so forth here and then here we are today now correcting all the way back down below our descending fractal here or sorry our price floor here inside of what appears to be a descending fractal within uh, a much bigger bull flag formation here which i do believe is going to be breaking us to the upside still uh just you know uh, might take a little bit longer than we had expected but what's weird is looking at charts like this and looking at charts like this very weird crazy confusion just a bunch of crazy stuff is happening all at once it really it, it it blows my mind to see what exactly is going on here the fact of the matter is you can see ethereum has blasted to the downside here hit 1400 and then immediately reversed right back up inside its ascending fractal which is ideally a bearish sign here this is textbook bearish here and it's super confusing because of the fact that we did just see a bear trap this is a beautiful bear trap people expecting to see us break below our beautiful moving average right here are now getting you know uh, stopped out because we immediately reversed to the upside here so lots of people probably just got wrecked from this as you guys know we've been kind of waiting patiently like setting ducks because i said on numerous occasions not only were we becoming oversold you can see right here which we were but also typically after major dumps to the downside we typically have big runs and then we kind of do some sort of spiraling out like this and then we can find some sort of channel here and then we can either capitalize off the run or the dumps here moving forward but ideally lots of very interesting news and information to be spoken about uh in today's video you can see the s p 500 is really the most important thing that i want to see today and there's a really good chance with the way the news and the media have been playing out especially over the weekend here that we might be opening and correcting even lower than we had expected here with a target get potentially down at 3,700 points, which is not a good sign at all. And this is very worrisome. Hopefully that's not what happens and we can reverse out of this, but there's a big possibility of correcting to the downside here. Now, with all that being said, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's video. I know you guys do not like to hear about it, but over uh, a couple of days ago for my second channel, I did just recently go to Harbor Freight. They had some sale and I bought a ton of tools and this is only some of the tools that I purchased to be working on my first car on my second channel i do plan on buying for those that don't know a re uh, a car a salvage car from auction here and fixing it up entirely myself which is crazy i bought a bunch of tools right here and then i have a lot of power tools i just bought on ebay which have already come in so now i'm just waiting patiently for a car i just wanted to update you guys if you uh if you've been following my second channel here so just keep that in mind as i know i've made a video two weeks ago and i typically don't wait this long it's usually once a week that i've been doing patiently so it is bothering me with my OCD that I haven't put out a video, but I'd like it to uh, follow up with a car. The next car, the next video will be the first car that I get. So just letting you guys know that, but moving forward and diving into the technical analysis, you guys can see here, top 10 cryptocurrencies, everything is actually rebounding off, which is pretty shocking if you ask me. You can see we're up 7.3, 7.4, 6.8, 7 7.1. Everything for the most part has been rebounding off this major landslide to the downside. It's very, it's very peculiar. Like we get information and crazy news you can see friday we see a dump from the svb bank closure here causes corrections to the downside and then just as quickly as we correct to the downside we reverse right back up which it's just shocking to see that immediately correct down and immediately reverse right back up to where we started from um you know 
it's, it's just odd and peculiar and a lot of weird market manipulation is happening right now. But specifically within XRP here, you guys can see we are still falling to the downside here. We do have opportunities to be buying in, shorting to the downside, so on and so forth here. We immediately reverse out of this yesterday and then close right back up, up top here. And then from closure last night, we immediately dump back down. Still, I believe there is opportunity that we are going to be falling lower here if we do see another confirmation closer. So maybe to make up for yesterday's, you know, bad trade with the reversal here, we could buy in or I plan on buying in if we can close uh, where we currently are. We'll see if we confirm closure above here again and we reverse and wick back up or recede back up, then we'll sit this one out. But ideally, if we close exactly exactly where we are right now, then I do plan on taking advantage of this with the opportunity to be shorting this to the downside here because that's really where it looks like we're gonna be heading to. I'm, I'm shocked this looks a little bit bigger than normal, but um, if we close below our price floor, which it seems like we're trying to do today, then there's a good chance we will be sliding lower. And it all depends on if we don't recede up or we close where we currently are. Very interesting in regards to the XRP charts here. Currently at 35 cents, we've bought in though long term at 38 cents here, closer to right about this level right here. And um, this is where we, you know, have our kind of uh, profit. Anything lower than 38 cents, we are losing money. But uh, again, I haven't sold out yet. And I do believe long term, 38 cents is a good opportunity to be buying in long term on like the weekly charts here. Uh, just to show you guys, this is kind of what I mean. I do be strongly believe that since we've broken outside of the major purple resistance, the purple downtrend, the descending triangle here, we should be ideally swinging to the upside here with a target closer to, you know, what could be 47 all the way up to like 95 cents here. But I do believe we are going to slowly move ourselves to the upside um, this year. Now, obviously, we can take advantage of this using my favorite exchange called BidFi here. Uh, and I did just recently see one of you guys' comments in yesterday's post. Uh, I have not had any issues with using BidFi. Again, they've literally only changed their username as far as I understand here from BitYard to BidFi. So there shouldn't be any differences in regards to what you're, uh, what, what's populating on there. And you can also always just click right here, messenger and leave your comment and explain to them what exactly is going on. And they can give you, you know, the answers and maybe help you out. So definitely make sure to check that out. Uh, you know, if you're watching today's video, you know who I'm talking about, but, um, honestly, I've had no issues with BidFi here. So definitely make sure to check it out. You know, this is the number one cryptocurrency website that I like to use to buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits, literally every Everything you could possibly think of. They have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Polkadot, Chainlink, Cardano, all the major cryptos, including XRP, which is what we use to buy long, leverage trade, and sell short XRP here, including just holding onto it and holding. Like I said, I bought it at 38 cents and I'm holding with no leverage. I do that by clicking spot and clicking classic, and that's how I can do it. Another really cool feature about BitFi is they do also offer a demo account, which gives you $100,000 in Monopoly money. Also, another thing for you guys, if you just want to create your own account, you can do an anonymous account and just sign up and use the demo account. There's nothing wrong with that. You don't have to trade around with real cryptocurrencies. You can easily do this, but this allows you to trade around with with $100,000 in Monopoly money to test your skills and see if you have what it takes to actually trade real crypto. And then when you get comfortable, you can obviously switch to the live account and deposit real cryptocurrency. Make sure to take advantage of their new sign up bonus. Link is down in the description. Click welcome rewards after you sign up and you can earn up to $2,888 completely free. And if you've already signed up, you can still click welcome rewards on your page and also try to claim up to those rewards too. Now, with that being said, and moving forward from XRP, looking at Ethereum, and Bitcoin and the S&P 500, you can see we've had a major wick and a major reversal here, which is absolutely mind blowing in regards to what happened yesterday. Just a couple of days ago, we were right here hanging out and we immediately explode black, back inside, excuse me, back inside the ascending fractal here, which is shocking to me if you ask me here. And this is why we wait out because we could have inferred hey, maybe we start to head lower here down to retesting support. And it's a good thing we didn't buy in because we see an immediate reversal back to the upside right inside our ascending fractal here. And now we might start to trend sideways. This is a big resistance here. We might kind of have a problem breaking through that here, or we could just consolidate as we probably are going to do. But I think it has a lot to do with the way the S&P 500 opens. Regardless, very weird thing, especially with the news that came out about the banks here. And my best probably 
bet in regards to what I plan on doing is just waiting patiently. We need to see what exactly forms here before I go throwing money into these cryptos. You know, just let things play out a little bit longer so we can get a better idea of what exactly is going on. If we can see XRP hang or sorry, if we can see Bitcoin hang out where we currently are, maybe another day, then there is a very solid chance we could reverse off this as my original trade was until we got stopped out. And we could capitalize on this run to the upside, filling out the ascending triangle here or ascending fractal is a very big chance that can still happen. So let this play out, let today close. And if we can hang out above support here, then there's a very good chance we could leverage to the upside again. Again, I'm not entirely sure. Let's see how this play out, and especially the S&P. I have this gut feeling in the back of my head we're going to fall lower here. Uh, my hope is we head up, but there's a very big chance we're going to see a, another correction to the downside. That being said, smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.